Welcome to Brent Plays With Himself, a Let's Play series where I find out I know nothing about gaming. On this episode, I continue exploring, I get stuck in a motel, because there's a motel in the house, and uh, I figure out more of the story, and I'm starting to get hooked on it. Not a lot of breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And no shit, he'll be back! Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail. Ooh, well someone knows a lot about the game. Being able to guess that he's his corrupted. I actually don't know if that's like something that's been in the trailers and stuff. Like I said, I've actually I I've, I know nothing about this game. Literally nothing. Jack shit. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Now ah, whatever. I went back. Um. So up is obviously the way it wants me to go. Um. All right. What do you think of the game so far? I'm 100% blind about this, too. It said it was his corrupted... Oh. I didn't realize that it said that. Um. I am enjoying it. I wouldn't go out of my way to say, like, this is, like, an amazing game. Like, I'm not, like, blown away by it or anything. Um, so, yeah, I, like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm blown away by it, but I, it is good. And I'm beginning to see why it got a bunch of gaming awards, because it does have good mechanics in it. That makes sense. I presume that made sense. If it didn't make sense, then whatever. What was that? Ah! I fucking knew. I was like, there's a file in here somewhere. Tea time! Okay. Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Teddyson re report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have anything to do about that, would you? See you Sunday, Jim. Ah, Jim. Ah, Jim. Always up to no good, that Jim. Ah, Jim Bobo. -bo. Jim, 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 Jim. Jim Bob. Too bad it isn't tea time. Oh, <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> See what you did there. You're clever. Look at all that health. Ugh. Okay. So. Knew it. I was like, ah, there's going to be something around the back. Around the back. Boink. House memory? Well, hot dog. Boot. Hey, I got an Achievo. Uh, event summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of the local celebrity located at which had been connected to a total of hurt disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching the closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, Herp, days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte Holmes closet disappeared during the incident. Cool! That's fun! I like that! That's fun! Alberto Tomasi. Here we go! Oh, Hiss Elevated! This elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competent competencies observed in bureau periutilism. I have so much problem with that word. Observed in bureau periutilism. Oh my god! Bureau periutilitarians. 
Bureau Para Utilitarians. I think I nailed it. Some prefer to charge their targets, while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the Hiss Resonance can identify and express latent paranatural abilities in the individuals it corrupts. Refer to file hook for full report. Whoa! That's crazy! Okay, that's it. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined it first. Honestly, what the odds of all of that would show up inside the U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Ooh, you're in trouble. You shouldn't have been recording that. Oh, hey. Do you want to see something super creepy that gave me nightmares today? Please say yes in the chat below and I'll show you. Oh, I'm waiting. Do you want to see a nightmare fueled thing? There was a real life incident of Russians using some weapon on Americans. Sure, here you go. Now it's funny to me. Sorry. At least the last time I watched this, it was like a weird TV. Fart person is a good insult. Absolutely. Hotline chamber? Oh, that's where I'm going. Hotline chamber. Okay. The hotline can't be far now. You mean where the room says hotline chamber? That's right, Jesse. Surely it's not. Hello. Open up. Wink. Yeah. Yeah. So I will say, I do enjoy the live action stuff. They've thrown in like... That's also cool. I do enjoy that as well. Okay. Beauty Settlement. Ugh. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT-01. 
The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, her light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the her and her sectors. These are all access to the Ocean View Motel. Though how exactly this link operates is her but initial hypothesis, center in the Butte aw, as a her. See Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. Did everyone get that? Like, whoa. That's where I'm meant to go. I hear the phone ringing. Uh, this is very old school. Yeah. So, I thought it took place in, like, a different time period. It, it's explained in the game. I, I dig it. I can dig it. Okay. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. August 19th, Director Trench. August 26th, Director Trench. August 31st, Bill Everett, the custodian. September 2nd, Director Trench. September 9th, Director Trench. September 14th, Bill Everett. September 16th, Director Trench. I think I was saying December. Oh, my birthday. No one called anyone on it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of Director Trench in September, October. It wasn't until... Ooh... Carol Bishop, on October 26th, was a custodian. But when I met the custodian, he was looking for an assistant. This is <laughs> Walking down this hallway. Son of a bitch. I'm expecting like a get smart scenario where the doors close. Anyway. Uh huh. I do like, I do like this. This is a cool graphic. Yeah. Uh yeah, custodian janitor. You know. Those people. I don't know what I expect. I was like, oh, maybe the light switch created a bridge. There's no bridge. Welp, indeed. Welp. Pew, pew, pew. Bra, bra. Bra, bra. I'm really good at, like, youth stuff. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. It's okay. Because I don't have to do collectibles. Yay. Wait a minute. What the fuck is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck off. Why are there bad guys? Come on, man. I don't even know why I bother. I'm getting out of here. To the hotline room! Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh. 
I was like, oh no! Okay, let's try this again. What do I need to do here? I just had to click it three times. Doors? I've hit a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. Oh. This feels like. What happens if I keep going? All of them, like something. Whoa. Like dream. What's this? Hello. Hello. Ahoy, ahoy. Ah, oh, I can't shoot. So it's down this hallway. Ooh. Oh. No. Two, two, four. Two, two, five. Two, two, six. Nothing. Two, two, seven. Two, two, eight. Fine, I'll open up the door. Yeah, here we go. Upside down triangle. Open up. The fuck? Ahoy, hoy. Can I leave? What do you want from me here? Don't tell me to traverse. <gasps> the door's closed. <gasps> this one's open now. My God. Key has a black pyramid on it. Jesse, come on now. We all knew what was going to happen. <gasps> oh, it does! The bell changes the door! Perfect! Mwah. Sweet. Oh, there's nothing in here. I love it. So that's the door with the key. Yeah. Lom. Okay. <gasps> that's me. Look at that. It's a good photo of me too. Click. did get the good side. Alright. Let's call Batman. Batman! It's your kids, Batman! <laughs> Fuck. that? What's that? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Jesus. Oh, God. I think I gotta... Oh. I think I have to pull that out. Am I back in the astral plane? Please. Don't be a dick. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Huh! Come on, Jesse. 
That was very intense. Okay. Sneak around it. Right? I'm just going to sneak around it. Hup! Okay. See ya. I don't know how to defeat you, so I'm just going to go. So far, so good. It's breakdancing to some funky jazz. Huh. Yep. Ahoy, ahoy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. Who's the board? And my hypothesis is... Oh my god, you're wearing the greatest sweater. Planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Well, Tomasi's off. Marshall especially. My head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Your nose is bleeding. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. Sorry, what? Echo. Just happened. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red bike light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs. The object allows the director to communicate with the hook. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal hoop. See Dr. Darling presentation, blah, blah, blah. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. Negative. It's right bound to me now. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests we run on the object, including hoop and hoop, but its origin remains unknown. Oh, it's the hotline. I don't need to watch that. Whoa! What's this? Oh. Okay. So the hotline's just that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, God. I'm stuck. Okay. People react strongly. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Ooh. That wasn't there before. Where does it lead? Back to Emily? That'd be nice. Nice little shortcut. Oh, it's the director's office. <gasps> Where'd he go? Dun, dun, dun. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our, regarding, 
regarding our operation exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us, as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, director of the Federal Bureau. Okay, cool. Do you remember? Ah, oh, can I go there? Damn it. Oh, I don't know. You didn't have one. Who are you? Oh, that's right. Emily? Is that you? Emily? Ooh, what's in here? I've already investigated, but files seem to appear. Yeah, see? Oh, no, it's a radio. I was like, haha, this is why. It's not. More files? Okay, I'm beginning to think files just don't reappear. What's through here? Hello? Oh yeah, funky room. There's nothing in here either. I love how doors just open for me. It's great. Ooh, oh, 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 got stuck on a wall. You didn't see that, guy. I'm still the director. Emily? Nope. Emily? Nope. You two up there? Nope. You over there? I think that was Emily. But I want to see... Three! Damn it. Oh, that room's so useless to me. Darn it! Darn it all! She's in the boardroom. Nope, you're not, Emily. Where in the hell... Do I go? Oh, is this it? Oh, the big ass door that says boardroom. Hi, Emily. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. Sorry, you made it. You have been a busy bee. Emily? I'm gonna stand on the table. Let's talk. Of course. Hang on. Ba -ba -ba. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast so that, to that the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiologi physiology becomes reliant to the hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file whoop, for full report. Okay, you're blacking out this stuff. I don't know what that is. That was a file you wrote. Why would you black out your own file? You're insane, lady. I got the hotline. I could make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. Buck. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. 
Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. Stop telling me what I can't do. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that in his can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown <laughs> bypasses. Emily is 100% hitting on Jesse. Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. What are we doing here now? Stop! Stop! Stop showing me outside! Stop it! Also, why are we in this house? This is a bad house. What you do in there? Looks like we're all got our own stuff going on. Now oh, the fucking janitor. <gasps> it's him. There's a file there. I'll probably need to pick that up. I like the glimpses into, like, Jesus Christ. Where the? This is like the reactor from Final Fantasy VII. Um, so, talk to me, girl. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Um, I already read all about you, so this was a useless sit down. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just yeah. let me know. Oh, I will. Do you Don't you fret none. Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? What? What do you mean, someone's singing? My God! Adele's here! Ooh, what are these? What? Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, I can now like level up? Whoa, that cost three. Cool. Yeah, obviously we're gonna unlock all this. I didn't have the oh. Ah, oh, cool! Oh! You know what? This is cool. I dig this. No, no, okay. So that all costs three except for that. Ah, oh, cool! What are these? Astral... Ooh? Construct Shatter. So Jesse has some other person or thing in her... I didn't phrase that question well, but you get what I mean. Um, yeah, I've gathered there's something. At first I thought she was talking to, like, me. Which I was like, oh, okay, there's some fourth wall-esque shit going on. Okay. Oh, this is just... Upgrade to enable higher tier mods. Okay. So I... What's this? 
Oh, this is like... Okay. Do I have different outfits now? Dang it! So there's singing coming around. Hey, it's the custodian thingy. Oh, I fucking love that shit. That was awesome. The janitor's a fucking... Come do some custodian stuff. There's a plugged toilet. Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Remember that time? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Hotline. So. Can I now? So there's that. So I'm confused. Energy boost plus five. Uh, I thought I had a different thingy. Didn't I have another thingy? Didn't I have another thingy? Oh, weapon form slot. Oh. Personal mod slots. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Well, I think this is as good a place as any to stop. So, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Confident. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We'll see you all next time. Have a good evening.